Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode here on South Views Pig Farm. Um, since the last episode, let's just get this tractor started to warm up a bit. Uh, since last episode, I did one contract job to do some cultivating for one of the neighbours and I um, sold one load of wheat as well. Um, and that was mainly just to top up the money. You can see we're back up to 27,000. We um, have topped up the sprayer here with fertilizer. Um, we have about 2300 liters and we got the, the big wheat field uh, left to do. I've sprayed the um, cornfield and I've sprayed the canola. They're kind of our priority crops right now because that's what we need uh, to get the pigs up to full productivity. So don't think 2300 is quite enough um, for the big wheat field. So, I'm actually just going to get this thing reversed first of all. I'm going to take it over to the dealership and pop in another 2,000 litres and um, then we'll get spring. The other thing we want to do today, if we have a little bit of money left, is that we will um, we'll get in the greenhouse. It's, it's not going to make a ton of money, but um, it'll help us a little bit. And we got. Um, spare manure from the pigs but for now i'll just pop over and get some more fertilizer as you might have noticed we also put uh, row crop tires onto the fent 511 here um, that's just so we avoid mashing down even um, even more grain That's one more tank of fertilizer ready for us. We'll just get that on board and we should be good. So as you can already see, um, this field has going to be interesting because we did the first round of, of, um, of sowing, uh, realized we made a mistake and then went over and did the canola. So uh, yeah, we got a few different growth states and tram lines going on here, but um, we still got plenty of grain to feed the pigs. We got bales and so forth. So even if it's not 100% perfect, that's not going to be a humongous issue. But um, for now, We'll just get cracking on some spraying and uh, that will take the best part of the morning to, to get this job completed. Uh, fortunately for you guys, we're going to speed this up a bit, so see you in a bit. So that's pretty much done with the spring. Um, it's the advantage of having a, a nice big sprayer that, that came with the starting equipment at least. Um, should we get through these fields pretty, pretty quickly. Anyway, let's get this thing folded up. And then, I have this awkward situation with the wheat here where it looks like some of it's actually pretty much ready to harvest in the middle strip. Um, we're just going to check on the map to see if that's actually the case. So yeah, um, we got some stuff that is basically sitting in the middle here, ready to harvest. And um, our corn is ready to harvest as well. So 
that is the one thing we also need to get cracking on as soon as possible. To be honest, I had expected that we were almost just going to build a greenhouse today, but um, we've just gone through a growth cycle by the looks of things, so suddenly we've got a lot of work to do here on the farm. And the greenhouse might actually have to wait, because if we can start getting corn in to feed our pigs, then that will be a huge advantage and give our uh, pigs an enormous productivity boost. So, um, so that's absolutely top priority. But in order to do that, we need a corn header, uh, which we don't have and which we can't afford. We could afford a very small one, a four or five row um, header. That is, um, that's very small for the harvest that we have. So instead, we, we're going to lease a header, just for now at least. So we'll just pop down the fence and then we'll actually get into the combine. Take it across the road. And I think the header can be folded up, so we should be able to drive it back across the road and get this corn harvest underway. Just going to do a cab view as we navigate our way out of the shed here and I hit a nice new toolbox or anything like that so even leasing this thing might turn out to be taking a good chunk out of our money I'm not sure exactly how much that's going to be but it's probably going to be I don't know five six thousand at least and that's if we can do it all in one operating hour but let's have a look see Eight that goes with the, uh, the combine that we have. Uh, it costs forty-five thousand to buy. And obviously, we only have twenty-seven thousand lease cost. Okay, the lease cost is actually not bad at all. Um, Twenty-two ninety-five. So we are gonna lease the corn head for now. And it is a foldable, so I have no problems driving this one across the road. Excellent. So finally we are on our way to get some productive pigs on this farm hopefully. Um, I mean we are up to about 60 pigs so we bought 50. So we bred 10 while we've been doing the uh, groundwork to get the grains in and so forth. Should probably put some hazard lights on while we're out here on the road. First of all, hopefully we can make it all the way around the field without having to um, without having to. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to get the right bits unfolded here. So let's get going. But yeah, hopefully we can make it all the way around for a headland um, that way. We're not going to have to do some awkward maneuvers or drive down crop in the process. Obviously you do get a big yield from corn so it's gonna run up fairly quickly. But if we see we're getting almost full and we haven't made it around we can, uh, we can cut ourselves a little turning area and then we can get the John Deere hooked up to the trailer and come out and pick up the first load.
I'm at three quarters for them now, so obviously we'll also want to go around the other way um, so the pipe can come out. So what we're going to do just now is lift that header, get turned around here, and we might as well um, dump the first load um, while we can. So I just got to hop over and pick up the tractor for that. Everything's been maintained uh, recently, so we are good to go. So I'm going to be interested in seeing how much we get out of this field. Obviously this is the smallest of our field that we put corn on. And uh, this is the bit that the pigs are going to be taking the most of. Um, so maybe then we have to swap over um, for the next crop cycle. In fact, we will almost certainly swap over to one of the big fields is corn. And um, do a smaller crop on, on this field here. Excellent. That is us ready for another round. So that's the second round of the headlands almost done here and we might as well unload again. We're close to three quarters full again. Um, once we've done that, um, I'm going to set a work going on the combine at least for a little while. Around here. Uh, we'll just reverse over and tip in some more corn here. Um, but what I want to do is I actually want to get straight over and, and get this first grain fed to the pigs. Um, and while we do that, we'll just have a little look at how that actually affects their productivity, how much of a difference it's going to make in, in terms of their breeding rate. Because obviously our key income is, is from the pigs rather than from the grain. Um, and we want them breeding. Um, we're back down to about 20,000 and um, so we're going to need we're, need we're going to need to start producing some pigs in, in earnest now so what I'll do is I'll just start this swath here and we'll set a worker on it we should be able to go up and down a few times here like so and uh, we'll hop into the gen here long-awaited corn into the big feeding trough. It's not a long trip. Uh, this time we don't have to take it over to the silo, so uh, it's going to be nice and easy. Let's reverse up here. Before I start tipping, I'm just going to have a little look at the pig, pigs right here. Okay, so currently the pigs productivity is at 38% with only being fed with a barley and that means that uh, the reproduction rate is 6 hours. Um, so it's 6 hours, so we get a pig up 64, so we do get about 4 new pigs a day this way. Um, let's try and feed this um, corn in now. There to see if we are going to get an update on the pigs. Obviously, all of this is going to go in, and it's it's not going to have filled up the trough for them. Uh, but let's take a quick look now and see what difference that's made. 
So as you can see, we only had about uh, a fifth of the corn, and we're just waiting for the update. There we go. We jumped straight to 78% productivity. And I think the reproduction rate isn't going to update until we've had the next animal. Something like that. Maybe I'm mistaken. Productivity changed really quickly, but the reproduction rate didn't. Um, so we'll have to check in a little bit later. But um, for now, we better go back over to the field and see how our, how our worker is actually getting on over there. Um, whether he's doing a good job. If he is, then maybe we can actually go over and put our greenhouse in. Oh, actually, what we'll do is we'll just follow him up the side of the field right now. I don't think he's anywhere near full, but um, it means we have a little bit of time to to put up the greenhouse. I do want to get that in today after all. Now here we go. It's not going to be a particularly huge amount in, in the harvester right now. He's only done about three rows, so... Um, not expecting miracles here, but I definitely think we're going to need to do a bigger field for corn. Um, seeing that, you know, first part was about 12,000 liters or something like that, and that's 20%. So we need 60,000 just to keep them going for about six days. That's a fair old chunk of corn. So yeah, we're going to have to um, move over and plant one of the the bigger fields next time. We'll park up and have a little look around the farm, see if it uh, looks like this is a good spot to to keep a greenhouse. And just reverse up so we don't get in the way of the worker. Uh, at any point we're basically just ready to go on the next pickup, but um, we'll just get out on foot actually and uh, a little look so it's a bit too tight around here I think uh, to put anything down but it is sort of the, the, the sunny side of the farm um, we do have a space over here right next to that silage bit there it is a bit shaded but it could work I guess so this is definitely one one good candidate area where I think we can fit in a a little greenhouse, although it looks like it's pretty pretty much in shade all the time. The alternative is that we put it in up here, but it's kind of handy to be able to, to drive your equipment up over this edge. Um, could put it down here, somewhere near the, um, in this area, near the, but we're going to be going in and out quite a bit. Um, loading pigs to, to take them down to the cell point so I don't want to kind of obstruct that so I think I'm gonna put it over in this corner here and we're just gonna get a little cheap cucumber greenhouse to begin with it's not gonna earn us a ton of money but um, let's see if we can fit it in at least okay I guess we're putting it down there here we go uh, it's it's a little old and uh, a little basic but It'll earn us a little bit of extra money, and um, what we can do now is we can get the, um, the Fen 511, and we can, um, we can get some manure and some water put it into our greenhouse. Obviously, we do have to remember to keep an eye on on the harvest that's going on as well. But um, I think we should have enough time to do this, or at least one of the tasks. We'll we'll, um, we'll get the water loaded up first. So we got a water trailer over here. Now I can't remember if there's anything left in it. If there is, it's not going to be an awful lot. Oh, that's a couple of thousand liters. I don't know if... Yeah, the pigs need a bit, so we might as well top them up. Or drain the tank, whichever. Okay, so we've emptied it, that's fine. Um, the water point is literally just over here on the other side, so... It's not a big issue. Right, sort of in front of where we also pick up the lime. So here we are. 
And thankfully water is free, so that's good. And that's us with a full tank again. And let's just see if we can basically just reverse straight over to the point. I may need to bring up the help menu if there isn't. Oh, no. There we go. It works fine. It'll take a couple of thousand liters, I reckon. Oh, okay. Not that much. Yeah, that's 2,000, isn't it? So, so that's okay. Good. Um, just park up the Fen 511 here for a moment and then we'll get the manure in as well, get some maximum productivity from the greenhouses, but there we go, there is our nearly full tank warning, um, so that was pretty good timing at least, ah, he's just turned to come back down again, hasn't he? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna... him. Okay, he didn't make it. So, we're just gonna hop out into John Deere. And uh, we're gonna take over from the helper. I'm just gonna pull out and um, tip it straight into the trailer, and then we can uh, pick back up again. See if we can set the worker going. He might um, struggle a bit with the um, with the power line there, but that um, should be okay. So we'll get this tipped in. set the worker back on track and then we can get our greenhouse sorted out. So we put put it back into the original track. It may mean that we get a strip missed out um, in the middle here that we'll have to sort out later. But we'll let them get underway again. Just check how much of a load we've got in the John Deere here. 13,000, so we can just about squeeze in another full tank load, or very close to it. So there's no real point in, in driving over right now. So we'll just park up here again, and then back to the Fent 5 alone. And this time we'll get the water tanker put back, and we'll get some manure loaded over to the greenhouse, and um, Give us a little bit more of a income here on the farm. Obviously we, we have the eggs. Soon we'll actually be able to start selling some pigs as well. And um, with the greenhouse, yeah, it's all going to add up. Hopefully that means that we are financially going to start getting a bit more balanced. Um, obviously right now we are way down. The, the greenhouse still cost about 9,000 and we are paying for a worker as well but like I said this should turn around now and start him now I wonder if I need a, my weight on the back for this or whether we can get away with just doing it like this let's give it a shot eh, it should be fine doesn't seem to struggle too much with it I don't know the exact capacity of um, of this greenhouse. Is that taken in? Yes, it is. Okay. So one other investment we do want to make at some point is to get a slurry tanker um, because these pigs should be making a, a decent amount of slurry as well and um, I want to use that for cutting down on, on, on fertilizer costs for the fields. There we go. 
that's greenhouse full up for now. Uh, there's no room for us just yet, so um, I think we'll just wait here and uh, I'll take back over from the worker and um, we can time lapse this bit uh, as well. So that's us got the worker back on again, um, because we got our pretty much full load here on the Jundia. So we're going to take that back over to the farm, and uh, we might as well just drop it straight into the feeding trough, knowing that um, there's still plenty of room for more food for the pigs. I wonder if there's going to be any going into the silo at all from this, or whether it's just all going to end up here in the feeding trough. Well that's another full trailer, so that's close, well, not quite full, 19,000 litres or thereabouts going in, so it's certainly helping. Okay, so now our reproduction rate is down to three hours. So we basically cut it in half and um, that means so before we have, we're going to be getting eight animals a day, um, so we can now seriously start thinking about taking some out. I would say once we once we hit seventy, um, we should probably start um, trimming some off. We want to keep the herd growing a little bit, up to at least a hundred to hundred and fifty. But we can start trimming sort of half of the daily production off at least, and that will start giving us a bit more of a steady income. So, so that's good to see. And obviously, um, we got canola growing over on the other field. That will be the next harvest, um, apart from that pesky wheat sitting in the middle. I do want to buy uh, another an auto stacker for, for round bales um, from the Anderson DLC. Um, but we're a bit short on cash for that right now. So we'll have to see how we get on. We might have to lease one to begin with. But the corn was the most important bit to get our pigs fed here on Southview's pig farm. It actually starts feeling like we are a real pig farm now. Uh, we're getting work underway and uh, we're going to be able to start feeding them an almost full complement. Of course there's one more step now is to get some root crops in at some point but um, I have a feeling that's going to be waiting uh, a little bit because we need to buy another field first of all. So that is it while I chase the um, combine here that is it for this episode here on south views thank you very much for watching um next season or next episode we will be um we'll be picking up some canola but for now thank you very much for mobile core gaming see you again soon